Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and welcome to my new S Plus Kibble Farm. Uh, the Kibble Rework, we're only going to need like six dinos to lay eggs for us now. Uh, they're going to be in different groups from like extra small eggs to extra large, um, and they can be laid by like loads of different dinos. So it's really up to you which few dinosaurs you, like, you really want for your egg layers. But I chose all dinosaurs that I could ride, um, relatively small, and I chose the Therizinosaurus because it was like the smallest dinosaur that lays the extra large eggs and that sort of di di um, dictated the size of the whole base basically. Um, I really wanted to build it to keep it like really compact so everything was like really accessible um, and it's got everything you need there to sort of meet your kibble. Um, on this second floor is just like a production area with storage beds uh, and like a bit of a landing area on the outside so you can sort of fly in. Um, I'm gonna have a run through the kibble rework because that's like going with the S Plus update when it comes um, and then you're all ready to go when it drops. I'll run through everything you need basically. Um, there's a couple of new recipes where you need like Folco Chili and um, Lazarus Chowder so I'll run through them as well. I've also built a couple of farms on the side of this place so that everything's there you need. Uh, the Parasaurs lay the extra small eggs for some reason, but um, you can use like compies and stuff like that. You sort of realise like uh, the, the size of a dinosaur sort of dictates what eggs it's going to lay. I did grab some Titanoboas because it said the special eggs were laid by them for the extraordinary one, but it's not working properly. It's the Hesperanus, you need the golden Hesperanus eggs. Um, if you get yourself a Ichthyos, is it Ichthyonis? Yeah, Ichthyonis. Use its fishing ability to catch some fish and the fish get a buff. Then you can use that to tame the Hesperanus and it just works better. Um, if you use them, the Ichthyonis, to catch about 25 fish, feed them to the Hesperanus, they should start laying golden eggs. That's I've read it, I've not actually done it myself, so I'm not too sure. Uh, I can test it out though and try it in another video. But yeah, that's how you get the sort of golden extraordinary eggs. And there's the base. So they used all the new S Plus stuff, um, the triangle slope glass and everything around the outside. It's sort of got that extra layer. You can see as it sort of comes from the bottom, then slopes in, and then you've got like the main base. And when you're walking around, you can see out of all that glass, it looks pretty cool. Right, you're gonna need focal chiller and Lazarus chowder. That's two odd ingredients that actually come into it later on. What I'll do, I'll put the recipe and basically how much of each in ingredient you'll need up on the screen so you can sort of pause it and have a look it's just a, an easy way to sort of find everything and then i'll go through the six new kibbles and yeah put all the ingredients and everything you're going to need for them
Okay, first of all, we've got basic kibble and you need the extra small egg and I chose the tech parasaur simply because it's the only one that lays the extra small eggs that you can ride so I could get it in position properly. So I just picked the tech parasaurs because they look cool. first one then second we've got simple kibble and that's small legs um, I picked the Raptor same again because yeah you can you can ride it into position that's why I picked all of them just so that you could position them so when the eggs fall down they, they sort of look like they're coming out of the hopper and you can just go and collect them off the floor around where you are Next we've got regular kibble, and that's medium eggs. And I picked the Terra Birds for this one. Next one up is superior kibble, and that's the large eggs. It does say you can use snow owls. I've tried them first, but it didn't seem to work. Maybe you need to be on um, extinction for that. So I just picked Argies. Everyone's got Argies. And then it's the exceptional kibble, uh, and that's the extra large eggs. Like I said earlier, I picked the Therizinosaurus because it's like the smallest one that lays the extra large eggs. That's the one you need the focal chili for. And then lastly, you've got Extraordinary Special Eggs. And like I said before, it does say on the wiki that you can use Titanoboa. And I tried it and it, it didn't work. So you've got to use the Golden Hesperanus Eggs. But that only tames three dinos. I think it's like the Rock Golem and Thylacol. Or Thylacaleo. And uh, yeah, that's probably the best place to go is just like get on the wiki. Um, and check through and it'll tell you basically every single dinosaur that lays the different sized eggs and uh, what they tame. I was going to put all that in the video but it would have ended up being dead long. But that's the that's all, all the ingredients you're going to need and everything sorted. That's the new rework. And there's all your kibble so you're going to save tons of room on kibble, tons of room on eggs. Um, yeah for one of them you need jerker so it's basically just your preserving bin spark powder some cooked meat and some oil and that'll produce the jerky fire but you, you probably know that already and there we go i just built that um i tried putting the dinosaurs a bit higher up but the eggs got stuck on the new s plus triangle ceilings but i wanted that shape so i just sort of backed all the dinosaurs so the eggs dropped straight down and so you just wander around grab your eggs oh grab yourself a couple of um dung beetles as well so you can make the fertilizer for the farms and get a ovary raptor put it on wonder fill it full of rocks so it's not running everywhere and that'll give you the egg buff for everything as well and that's everything you need all in that little place i like that as well it looks like a pretty futuristic design you know on the roof and everything and yeah it's just playing around with angles and all the new triangles and stuff see what i could create and yeah i really like that place it's cool Right guys, um, I've recorded the whole thing, so like the, I'm going to do a how to build video as well, so that'll be out soon. Right, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that's been subbing, I've just hit 2,000 subs, can't believe it. But I reckon we can get 10k this year, we we'll try. <laughs> um, no, I really appreciate it, and um, yeah, thanks for watching the video guys, check out the rest of the channel, catch you later.